today we're here talking with Robert Medina. Thank you, Robert, for oh, joining you're us. You're welcome. It's so nice. <laughs> As a continuation of how Prairie Edge and the Sioux Trading Post prepare sage for sale, um, we just want folks to know that we're just not throwing it together, that we're actually doing some preparation. And Robert is the best. One thing that I like to do personally is I like to take every leaf that we get here and every kind of stem is we just like to pick through it and kind of make sure all of the leafy ones and then kind of separate them apart from the ones that aren't so leafy or the, you know, the stems that we have here. And so, because of course there's going to be a load where you're not going to have as leafy stems. And so they're going to be ones that are just pretty bare. And that one we really don't like giving to the customer. So that's just one thing that I like to do, just kind of an extra step that we take. And then of course you can figure out all the stuff that's in it, like the grass and everything that you find. You I kind see of separate you're it up. All the grass out yeah. of it. And I like lining it up just because when you're going to get ready to roll it and put it in a bundle, it looks really, really nice. And so it just gives that, that extra thing when you're going to present. And so you're just going to have it all like that. And so just line it all up there. And then, like I said, and throughout the process, you're going to find out all of the little things in there that you can take out, like the grass, and you're going to find all the twigs and the stems that you can't really use. And so you go through there, and you keep going. And, you keep... and then one thing that we do is we have this really, really nice tissue paper that we're going to throw it in. But before we do that, we're just going to make sure, like I said, once it's all lined up and you're going to get ready to wrap it, there are going to be some sticks at the bottom that are going to want to poke out, and when you're going to get ready to wrap it, they'll kind of rip through the tissue paper that you have here. And so basically what we're going to do is we'll just take somewhere, we'll get a garbage can, thank you, and then you'll just trim it all off, kind of make it all even and really nice and pretty, get it all organized and everything. And so, like I said, when you get ready to do that process, twigs will fly if you kind of see that. And so you have it all there. It's kind of all even in a nice little bundle that you have there. And you get it at an angle at this corner piece because when you get ready to wrap it, it's going to have a nice little presentation once we show you. Take the sage, you're going to roll it just really nice and gently. You don't have to force anything onto it. And so you just roll it and then you're going to find that there's just going to be a little end. You're going to fold that over, get rid of it, what they don't see when they roll it. And then you're going to have a nice little piece of bundle stage right there and then you just tape it off and do whatever you want with it and then essentially you're just ready to go and so, and so the majority of the product that's inside of here is all usable there's is, oh, really of it, so what we're selling to customers is not, not just an abundance of ways like yeah. i said we like to give the customers the leafy product what they can use as opposed to just stems like this some of that they can't really and it's just part of the process and so that's just something that's just that kind of extra step that we like to take when we're rolling it is just you know give them the best of what we've got isn't happens. that kind of inherent with the natural product oh well, sure and of course you're gonna have yeah you're gonna have some that are just not growing and it's natural we use this all the time and we go out picking it so we kind of know you know the process of how it goes and then so if you've gone out and you've seen sage it grows like any other plant so you kind of have your good crops and you kind of have your bad crops and, and so since it is wild crafted it mm -hmm. is um, subjected to abuse by the environment too. Oh, sure. Bugs, of course. wind, hot, yeah. hail. Especially, yeah, especially <laughs> now in the, in the climate we've had, yeah. you know, we haven't had a particularly good winter. And so, and then it kind of carried over into spring. So it just hasn't grown as well as, as it could have been. Find good crops as well. You know, it's still growing out there and it's still really, really well harvested. And so, so, and then essentially when we're done is you're going to have all of this waste. And we also put the waste that we do to use as well. And so basically you're going to have something like this. Uh, just as an example and then what we'll do is we'll even just save the leaves we'll get rid of the stems there we really won't need them and then this will also sell out as a product as well and so you know we're uh, when we're going through the process of rolling sage and everything too we're not we're also using the best of what we've got but we're also you know putting the waste used as best as possible as well or not technically waste just extra so just small steps in what we do here at Prairie Edge for rolling sage <laughs> So. Well, great. Yeah. Well, Robert, take, thank you yeah. for taking the time to talk to us. Oh, sure. That's awesome. Yeah.